When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, do I look sweaty? Because I am. Um, I am on a fitness journey and I am in it to win it this time, you guys. I have restarted the jump rope challenge and I am jumping rope as many times as I can a day, every single day. Now, granted, this is only my second day, but I'm very confident that I'm gonna stick with it this time. And I've been like filming it every single day, but I think tomorrow when I do this, I shouldn't wear Doc Martens. Cause for the past two days, I've been wearing Doc Martens every day when I'm exercising. And I'm pretty sure that that is advice no one would give me. Today, we are finally doing another episode of opening 50 pounds of mystery items. So today is a special episode because some of it is mystery items. Some of it, I just like put in my 50 pounds of stuff to unbox. I bought so many of these doll sets years ago. They're kind of like miniatures for dolls. I don't exactly know, 100%. Well, they're called like Our Generation or something. Recently, I have been making more videos with like the Avatar baby, the alien baby, and more just of my little like up close ASMR unboxings that I like to do, that I like to use other props for, but I need some fresh props. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I have these four things and I'm hoping we're gonna get to all of them today. Um, also, you guys, this is my bag today. Look at that, it's a trout! Ah, isn't it a trout? Are you a trout? So yeah, oh, and this just got delivered. So let's find out what came from Amazon today. Oh, it's athlete's foot cream. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, ooh, this is like a banana peppery item. Is that a spider web? Oh my God, you guys, there are spiders that live on my porch, but I like that. I think that they are my friends. And sometimes I say, tell me your secrets, little spider friends. Whoa, okay, yes, oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is actually a repurchase. I'm pretty sure this was in a buying my Amazon stationary wish list video before, but yeah, I love these. They're like ink pens, but look at how cute that is. Um, I feel like these are perfect for my life because I have a lot of different inks that I like to try, but I wanna like change them out, you know what I mean? I will link this to you guys down below with my Amazon affiliate code, just in case you care. All right, you guys, up first, the first proper mystery mini thing. This is a mystery, right? Yeah, 15 surprises. So yes, although look at this, you guys, I feel like that's the big time reason I'm opening this today is I have never been able to get one of the rings or jewelry pieces in any of the mini brands fashion. And I'm gonna be honest, my Furby needs a ring. I have a Furby with arms and legs. I call her Princess Furb. And I've, I've been wanting a ring for Princess Furb for a really long time. And I am absolutely just ripping this up down here. Let's look at the rings first. Oh no. Oh, did they seriously? Okay. Ooh, they like twisty tied almost everything in here. Oh, the horrors. Oh, it's like a keychain maybe. Look at that, it's so beautiful. It's a ring box, will you be mine? Wait, that's not what you say. It's, will you marry me? <laughs> will you be mine? It's Valenslimes day. Look at this. Is that gonna be too big for a Barbie finger? Do you guys think a Furby finger? A Barbie finger, Furbies don't have fingers. I really like that this is a keychain though. That is so cute. And then this is the ring box and it actually has like a velvety texture on the inside. So realistic. All right, up next is this diamond and it's a diamond keychain, but it looks like there's gonna be a little blind box inside. You guys, I feel so out of breath. Um, I definitely feel like that's how you can tell I am so unhealthy. What's inside? Ew. Do, oh, 
This is so cute. Okay, I don't know what this is, so if you guys can help me out. It's two pom-poms glued together on a stretchy, nope, it's not even stretchy. This is like an attempt at a Christmas ornament. But look at this, actually functional for my life for sure. We have a baby carbiner, a carabiner clip. Let me know how you say it. <gasps> and we have stick on earrings. Oh my god, I used to love these things. I used to be so scared of getting my ears pierced, which is hilarious because I almost said when I ran away to college, when I ran away to college, I got my ear pierced at Claire's so many times, but I had to like take nearly all of them out because surprise, surprise, none of them healed <laughs> properly. I am tempted to go get some more piercings. I saw a earring for an industrial piercing last week that like, it's just supposed to go in one of the holes of the industrial piercing, but it looks like a little frog is sitting on your ear. So cute. All right, up next, shiny gold bag. Oh, we have a letter in here. Look at this. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of bent, but just ignore that. A letter with, is it a single piece of stationery inside? It is, but that's so cute. Yes, so cute. Also, I hope that the camera is in focus today because you guys, I feel like my eyes are so exhausted. You will never believe as I, oh, this is actually cute. This is supposed to be a keychain and it is a little pink. Is that a chihuahua? I think it's meant to be a chihuahua. I was washing my hair last night with my favorite, one of my favorite Lush shampoo bars, the new cinnamon bar. We actually got three pieces of stationary with envelopes. I was washing my hair. Let me just finish this grotesque story. <gasps> washing my hair. Yes. And I was like vigorously scrubbing like ah, da, 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 da. Yeah. The end of my hair covered in the cinnamon shampoo flipped up in my eye. And I, I really did feel like screaming. It was so painful. Like I, I really cannot describe another carabiner clip. And yeah, it was horrible. And like for the rest of the night, I did that at like six o'clock yesterday. And for the rest of the night, I felt horrible. My eye felt horrible. Look at that. It's a pin. Okay. I have to see, does this thing really work? Let me find one of the little envelopes, one of the little pieces of paper. And let me see. Oh, right away. Look at that. Well, you can't see it yet, but impressive writing ability. Beautiful hot pink ink. Yeah, so my eye still feels a little gritty today. A little unwell. I can't find the pen cap. Y'all, I really can't find the pen cap and there's nothing down here on this counter. Oh, there it is. All right. And then the gold things I held up were like envelope seals. You know what I mean? Like the little stickers that you seal an envelope with. Okay, uh, let me cut these three bags out because they're like stuck in there. I guess they wanted to make this row extra challenging. So let me disassemble this and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I sliced, I diced, and I'm gonna look at this glittery one first because, oh, you guys know I love the look of glitter, but only when it's like the encapsulated glitter, you know, like the glitter that, I don't know what kind of coating they put on that stuff, but, oh my God, <laughs> you all, I didn't know what this is. This literally feels like a beauty blender. Imagine my shock when I reached my hand in there. It kind of looked like a tongue. I was like, what is this? Another carabiner clip. And this would be adorable if not for the glitter. Oh, <gasps> is this gonna be real makeup? Oh, it's body shimmer. I used to love body shimmer. <laughs> Somehow I completely went from loving glitter to being horrified by glitter. I used to love those like shimmer roller things. I swear that was like a limited to product. Okay, this is interesting. Look at that, body shimmer and a mirror. And I'm gonna pull this cause this looks like, oh my God, that's like a real mirror. I love when these miniature items come with real mirrors more than like the funhouse mirrors. And then this, could be a little bit more realistic, but it's supposed to be like a makeup case and it does have like the look of a zipper. So let's go ahead and put our little beauty products inside of it. That's pretty cute though. That's very cute. It's actually like not that bad. I don't know. I would maybe use that in a miniature video. Okay, up next, I think we have this disco heart and there's like a rubber band on it. Okay, 
Oh, that's cute. Would you carry that? If that was a handbag. I feel like there is a real designer that makes bags like this, but normally they're like covered in crystals. I don't know that designer, but just like something about the essence of this looks familiar. All right. Ooh, this stuff is so cute. I've wanted to find some good miniature water bottles now for a long time. That one actually has a screw top. And I don't know what brand makes the ones either that are kind of like, I don't know, they almost look studded to me. This adorable little teddy bear felt keychain. The carbiner clip. I see, I wish they would have done these in like different colors. That would have been cooler. And then this is very cute. This is definitely going right into the mini prop pile. It's a phone and let's pop off because this is actually a little rubberized phone case. Okay, they could have done like a pear logo. I almost said, or an apple logo, like as if that's not like real. But yeah, that's really cute. That's one of my favorite ones I've seen today. All right, you guys, last bag, this little furry white and gold bag. And a lot of these have like really good fasteners as well. Real Littles like usually has pretty good quality. So let's see what's in the last bag okay i feel like we can just say look it's like I'm all attached this time carabiner this one's pretty cute that's a pretty cute keychain like two little hearts Ugh, can you see the other little heart then we have a gold pouch i don't think it opens yeah i think it's meant to be like you know those like louis vuitton like key fob things oh my god and we have i can't tell if this is meant to be a credit card or like a membership like if you go i don't know it's like a tanning salon or something they used to give you those like membership cards because it does say vip i don't think there's like a, a vip credit card maybe i'm wrong but once again you guys i'm still on the quest because I do use the mini credit cards all the time in my unboxing videos but I've never been able to find a plastic one. All of the mini credit cards I find including ones in Rement and what's the other one? Rement and oh like Gachapon. Gachapon. They are all paper. All right you guys this one's probably gonna be quick and it's very dusty. Do you guys see the dust? flying off of this. I bought these a million years ago. These are our generation. I feel like I got a lot of these for original Avatar Baby. Like I should have just taken him in the store with me when I was buying this stuff. But one time I like went into Target and they had all the sets on like half off or something. So I think I was just like shopping at Target and I was like, I'm gonna get these for Avatar Baby. But they don't really look good with the original Avatar Baby because he's too large. So the scale just looks off. Um, but now that I have all the other miniature reborn dolls, a lot of it looks a lot better with them. And I have a lot more now that are just all different sizes. And I'm down here struggling to open this packaging. So once again, give me a second. I'll be right back. I don't even feel like I said what this kit is supposed to be. And I swear I just cut every piece of tape and it still does not want to open. Up first, oh my gosh. It's a tiny, what are these called? An artist mannequin? A tiny, ah! oh no. I hope he goes back together. I definitely bought this set for this little guy. I've always been fascinated with these and I literally do not know why. You know, he's trying to run. I mean, he's obviously not like as articulated as like a real artist mannequin, but pretty cute. You know, I feel like these are so detailed. You guys, I see videos all the time of like the American Girl sets. Why are those so expensive? Like the 90s one, I swear, is like $100 for a Frisbee. So I'm glad to see these these are like really detailed, but like, I think these were like $10. Okay. I tried to get this out of the package and everything went flying. Oh, I thought this was like one of the things you can like tie on your waist. Maybe this is like the same kind of thing for makeup brushes. Yeah, I think where you like roll it up and tie it, you know, and then you can keep all your makeup brushes and tools and stuff inside. So we have, I keep saying makeup brushes. You guys know what I mean, paint brushes. So we have three paint brushes here. 
beautiful. We have a pencil, beautiful. And we have a pencil sharpener. You guys, I wondered if that was like a real pencil sharpener. Why am I so silly? Of course it's not, but it looks very realistic. We have a sketchbook. You guys, I thought that that was like thumbprints. I was very confused. It is a spiral sketchbook with real paper inside that you could draw on, write on, whatever your heart's desire. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and I wish it was real. It's a tiny little eraser. <laughs> And we have a painting, beautiful, so talented. We have, it looks like two things of paint. Is this paint? Paint thinner and brush cleaner. Wow, we went for like very, very realistic. Those are pretty cute. We have, oh, that's nothing. That's just like an example. Oh my God, you guys, I feel like that's some of the worst packaging I've ever encountered. I feel like the tape had tape on it. So you get four pieces of kind of like cardstock paper, I guess you could use. You know what's so funny is there's not an easel in here, which would make sense for the canvas, um, but you do have this, which I guess helps you draw tiny circles. Any art students out there, can you help me out for like what the actual purpose of that is? You get a couple sketches of the little guy in motion. I really like that. I think that's super cute. Another one of my favorites from this set, you get scissors that look like they would actually really work. We have three tubes of paint in the beautiful primary color. So that's one end, other end, a ruler. Now, some of these do look like repeats for me because last year, I think it was, we, an easel. That's the last thing. Last year, we unboxed a whole like real miniature classroom set that I used like a million times. Oh my God, can y'all hear my boots squeaking? Uh, that we used like a million times for Avatar Baby and Alien Baby. So I definitely remembered like the scissors, the ruler, the eraser, and maybe the pencil, but I think it was in a different color. So, but like miniature tiny stationery, who doesn't need that? All right, you guys, sciences, something I haven't excelled at since the sixth grade, but I bet you guys can guess why I got this set. Let me unbox it all and, and really unbox it all this time, you guys, and then we're gonna go through it and it's gonna be a fabulous time. You guys, 40, 40, 40 literal minutes later, I was able to get everything out of the packaging. I don't feel like I've ever seen such extreme packaging in my life. So first up, best up, it just broke a little bit. No, the stand just kind of like, I would maybe uh, super glue this together or something, like the stand at least. I feel like I would maybe want to take the skeleton off the stand, but the stand I feel like I would want to stand together. Can you imagine, you guys, I used to love to play school and I feel like this would have been like so fun even for that. But look, his jaw actually opens. Super cute. And his arms and legs move. And yeah, he's he's a, a miniature skeleton model. Who doesn't need one of those? Up next, we have notebooks and textbooks. So we have two mini like composition notebooks. One says chemistry, one says science. And we did get some of these before with the miniature school. And I thought that these were super cute. Chemistry has lined pages of real paper. And yeah, science is also a lined notebook. I feel like at some point we got one with graph paper in it, but maybe I'm making that up. And then I always think this is super cute as well. The little mini textbooks. And this is actually like a hard cover. And frankly, I wish that they would just make these like notebooks book type paper as well. I don't know why I'm like so hesitant to draw or like write anything. Like if the paper isn't white, do you guys feel like that? We have a pencil and a little mini marker and both of those are super cute. 
And then look at this, you guys. I didn't even know until I just read on the packaging. Two of these things light up and this actually adjusts as well, like for the microscope. So you can turn it on and then it actually like has a little light down there that glows. Now, the only thing I will say is I wish they would have given us some little slides to just put on there. Although I feel like you could just make your own maybe with like pieces of tape, you know, like the, I feel like that was such a life hack, like when I was in high school and we used to always take the packing tape and like cover notebooks and stuff with it to like laminate it. Up next, we have these three cool little test tubes in a test tube stand and the test tubes actually come out. See, I feel like I liked this because of like the mad scientist aspect. So I was trying to see if the stopper came out, but it doesn't, but it does have kind of a more realistic rubberized texture. And then the test tubes are just like hard plastic. And then you guys, please don't laugh at me. What is this? Is this an atom? I maybe, I don't know. What is this meant to be a model of? It looks like the sculpture from Beetlejuice to me. You know, the one that comes to life. Then we have these, which, oh my God, I love these. You guys, the drip. They kind of remind me of pit vipers and they will actually hopefully fit someone. I don't know who, but hopefully someone. Speaking of hopefully fitting someone, we have these two like lab mittens, which I feel like you probably need like gloves and not just like oven mitts, but very funny, very cute. And we have an apron, of course, gotta stay safe. Apron, yes. And then we have the OG periodic table of elements. It literally says OG on it. Oh my God, that stands for our generation, I think. All right, you guys, up next, something that I like, but I feel like it could use just a little bit more realism. And that's like the little dropper. Okay, the plastic is actually closed off as well. But see, this is kind of the stuff that I wish, like, you know, I said this the other day when I was talking about a bagged Halloween costume. It's like, how much would it cost them to really just make something a little bit better? You know, like a little bit more real because I feel like with all of these little glasses and stuff, well, I guess that's the thing is like all of the beakers and stuff already have like fake liquid in them. But you know what I mean? Like how much cooler would this be if you could actually squeeze it and put like little drops of water in it. And then lastly is this giant thing, which for right now I actually did keep some of the plastic, <gasps> the plastic packaging, cause I feel like it's maybe easier to keep it in place that way. But look at this, you guys, the little, isn't this called a Bunsen burner? This actually glows, very cute. I wonder if you can put one of the other, like eh, that kind of fits, this little like measuring cup thing. Then we have baking soda and I like how the actual like ingredients move around a little bit in there. I feel like that's cool. That makes it look just a little bit more real. We have this tiny little measuring cup and I feel like I would use this a lot more, you know, because I can actually like scoop something up with it. Then we have this, which isn't this also called a beaker or is this an Erlenmeyer flask? I only know that that exists because there's an episode of, what is that show? Oh my God, X-Files. Oh, you guys, I just had the longest brain fart ever. Anyway, I was trying to say, there's an episode of the X-Files called the Early Meyer Flask. Dye, colorant, and vinegar are these two little bottles. I don't know why these look kind of like old fashioned to me, but I like them. I feel like I almost even like them better, like showing that side with no labels. I don't know. So then, you can take this garbage off if you want. This almost looks like it would come apart or collapse, but I don't actually think it does. But the wheels do actually roll. So you can like roll it around like the wheels even twist. So, you know, 10 points for realism with the wheels. Oh, this is not a bathtub. You guys, I need a little tiny bathtub right now with like one of the shower head things, preferably. And you guys know forever ago, I got one of those tiny little bathtubs that you actually drink out of. 
And I think I might just order another one of those because it may be better for the mini video I have in mind. But this is like a hair washing station. You guys, I should give Princess Ferb some hair and then send her to like the Furby hair salon. So yeah, this actually has like little mini bottles in it and it's supposed to squirt water out of the top, I guess, like a real shower head. And you guys, once again, I got this a thousand years ago. I didn't know that there was like already liquid in these little bottles. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. So I guess maybe this did have like some temporary hair dye in it or something. And I don't know, it doesn't look like the bottles are very full. So maybe a lot of it dried up over the years. Give me a second, I'm gonna unwrap it. You guys already know the deal. Oh, there are like some mystery things in here, I guess. So give me just a minute. Not quite as sophisticated as I thought it was gonna be. First of all, you do get this little chair though that I didn't know we were gonna get, but I guess you can actually clip the chair like on the front of the station like this. I somehow was not expecting that. So that's pretty cool. The little, I don't know what this is called, shower head, I guess. It kind of clips right there like that. And then you take it off. And this is actually really full of water. It's like this basin thing, which that's my only other critique is I kind of wish there was like something that clipped this into place. Cause right now, like this is definitely something to not be moved. Let me see how I can show you guys this. Can you see now? I think you can. Okay, we're gonna zoom in so you guys can see. There's this little like push button and that's what you do to get the fountain to work. <laughs> Which this is cute. This is like a good option, but honestly, I still think the drinking bathtub is a little bit cooler because that's like battery operated. So once you turn it on, you can just kind of hold this thing and I feel like it's like easier to manage. But it is cool because the water does drain out of this little basin back into the reservoir down here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're about to open like the blind bag things, but I can't believe, I'm like, where do you get these? Cause I definitely thought that this was like part of the experience we were gonna be experiencing today. You don't get the dye bowls. Where would you ever get these? I can't believe these are shown on here. I feel like that's kind of an integral experience to like making dye, dyeing hair, right? That's kind of silly. So I'm not gonna open these today because you definitely do mix these ingredients together. And I think that these are then actually gonna like squirt the liquid out, but you get blue, purple, pink. I can't quite tell if this is meant to be orange or yellow and green. And then there are these corresponding packets in here that actually, like if you guys can see like this one is purple it says activator in purple yellow or orange pink blue and green and when you're mixing up the dye you're supposed to mix the activator with the little bottle of hair dye that's really cute but why not in a bowl you know i think it's supposed to foam i may try this tonight you guys i think i do have one little tiny doll that might fit in this basin thing let's actually see what we're gonna get in all of these like mystery packets. Okay, we do at least get one mixing bowl, but I feel like what they show on the box is so much cooler. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. This is definitely my oopsie. Look, there is a thing that clips into place. Okay, that's like way better. I didn't even notice that. Then we get a hairbrush, which that could look a little bit more real. <laughs> You guys, I feel like I'm like the realism patrol here. We get a mixing spoon. This reminds me of something else we've seen, but I can't put my finger on it. This feels like a tube of some kind. Guys, this makes me wanna do the cowboy, I keep calling it cowboy caviar hair, the cowboy copper hair I just got to dye. Oh, it's a tube of glitter stuff. That looks pretty dried up. That's definitely my fault. And then, oh my gosh, it's a little actual like hair dye brush. So I did see like on the pictures and in the instructions, 
They do say you can put this dye in your own hair as well. I don't know how temporary that is. Okay, this is just like a packaging box. I thought, what's the mystery? The mystery is you get nothing. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all the little gold packets that we have. So definitely some hits, some misses today. I really was impressed by all the little like Target mini kits. But you know, I mean, how cool would it be like if these were actual little mini watercolors? How cool would it be if the actual paint brushes were not just plastic, but had little bristles like this? Like that's what I feel like with all of these kits. Some of them like have really amazing little tiny mini products. And some of them I'm like, why don't they actually make, like, you know, even the paint tubes, like why not make them squeezy tubes? like this, like, is it really that cost prohibitive? Is there a reason, I don't know, is there like a, a safety and health hazard that I'm unaware of for making certain things like open, making certain things like squeezy? I don't know. But then you get things once again, like the makeup compact, where did we put that? Yeah, like then you have a real mirror and a real compact with some kind of makeup in it. And that to me is like super impressively real. So I don't know, you guys. I'm like 50-50 on the fence with like, they could make them just a little bit realer, but I think I got a lot of fun new props today for my little mini videos. I know some of y'all love the ASMR style videos and some of y'all don't like them as much, but I generally, I almost said I genuinely, I generally post one of those or so to Snap every day. I also post sometimes to Instagram, but I try and like mix it up because I feel like I just have like too many interests in too many areas. So I'm always trying to do a little bit of everything that interests me like across all of the platforms. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, Stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. 